to her skull and she was like flopping all about a little bit. It was pretty good. Shit. All right, episode 24. Shit. We've just come back from uh, Los Angeles. Uh, we haven't done a podcast for about three weeks and we've sort of forgotten how to do it. You wouldn't believe this shit that's happened in LA. Hectic, hectic, hectic. Well, this week we have a we have a special guest waiting uh, in the in the shadows. He's behind a curtain right now getting ready. He's naked. Yeah, he's... Yeah. And we saw his willy. And he'll be coming on later. I'm not even going to tell you who it is, but... He'll be coming. It's Nigel Munn. Oh, yeah. All right. On this day in 1692, five people were hanged for witchcraft. <laughs> We've got a... In Salem. Uh, and guaranteed, if Michael was alive during that time, he would 100% have been hung. I wouldn't have died, though. Yeah. We've, we've tried to hang Michael before. I've come into his room in the morning and he's just been hanging there and i was like what are you doing dude and he's like oh man apparently like this like kills you yeah that was a rough you know that week was pretty rough for me but yeah his face was a bit red but it was fine yeah and then he just sort of pulled himself out of it slithered out of it the yeah. snake that he is matthew perry the actor from the tv show friends happy birthday he's a regular viewer of this so uh happy birthday matthew it was good to catch up in uh in la mate uh, i hope you enjoy the uh the gift we left you on the on the front porch <laughs> don't uh don't eat it all at once <laughs> don't don't eat it all at once <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell go die so happy birthday matthew <laughs> oh shit and of course uh bill clinton so he has watched a few episodes as well he's commented on our uh, on he'll, our youtube he's, videos he's a murderer so, so uh president bill clinton bill clinton's uh, a murderer ma- mad respect brother mad respect and happy fucking birthday my man. All right, so yeah, we've been in LA. Um, we we got back about a week ago, and uh, LA was pretty nuts. But we're gonna save the bulk of the stories for story time, okay? But all you need to know about LA is that things take time. Oh, America, everything takes time. You fucking go to buy a beer, it takes time. You go to pay for something, it takes time. You fucking want to go on a tour, it takes time. You just have to fucking do like all these computer work for every time you want to pay for something, and then you've got to tip them. They bring another receipt back and then you got to sign that. It's 2019. Get your shit together. You go to a restaurant. They, instead of just like bringing you the bill and then you pay and that's it. They bring you this leather bound thing with three bills in it. The customer copy, their copy and something else. And then they leave that there and then they walk off again. Even though I have my card ready to give to them so that they can take the card, put it in the leather-bound folder and take that away. No, they don't do that. They drop it and walk away straight away for 10 minutes. So you're sitting there with the card, looking at the bill, and then they come back and then they take the card and then they come back again and you have to sign and say how much you want to tip. Why the fuck do I have to sign for everything? I'd go to 7-Eleven, buy a $4 bottle of water, and I'd, they'd hand me a receipt, and I'd have to sign it and, and hand it. Fuck it's a, off. It's a bottle of water. Ridiculous. Yeah, dude. Other than that, LA was pretty good, though. There were some pretty cool things about LA, and overall, we, we gave the trip a 6.5 out of 10, which brings us to our second segment, which has been renamed... <laughs> <laughs> oh god that scared me and of course in this segment we just answer fan questions so uh michael pull out the fan questions Ooh. let's have a read this one's from too greedy alex underscore he's asked how are you able to deal with the pain it's uh it's it's simply because that we're really tough manly men and we don't fucking like, pain's just fucking nothing, eh? And if you show weakness and cry and shit, you're a fucking pussy cunt. Don't fucking cry and shit. If you feel a bit of pain, just fucking ignore it. You <laughs> fucking pussies. That's what I've learned in my short time on the earth. Just, if you feel pain, just fucking, fucking ignore it. <coughs> you fucking dumb cunt. Physical pain's temporary, because you just fucking... Say if you get hit with a golf ball, it, like, hurts for, I don't know, 30 seconds, and then you're back to normal. You used to have a bru- like a massive bruise there for like five days after, which hurts a little bit, but don't touch the bruise. Leave it alone and you're fine. We're just some of the best entertainers the world has ever seen, so we're able to put up with more pain, I think. That's the uh, sort of uh, scientific reasoning. I'd back that up. Yep. <clears throat> Jerick Co underscore with a double O on the end. He's asked, have you guys ever wanked each other's dicks? Oh, man, I don't know. We should answer this. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time in Germany when we were touring around with our with our friends that in Germany there's just twenty there's just a porn channel on TV, and we were upstairs in my grandmother's house, 
Oma Maga. And it was dark <laughs> and we all had our own little separate beds and we just had the porn on. And we're all just, we'd all just be watching porn and one of us would just have a wank every now and then and fucking walk out and come back in. It was a lonely week. Like there was, we were in a tiny no, it wasn't town. lonely. We chose to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we didn't have any girls because it was like a 200 population town. There's no people there. No bars, nothing. Yeah, that's no excuse. No, no group of grown men <laughs> should do that. But we did. And we called it Batfest. <laughs> yeah, we had, we should have saved this for a story. I don't we think had many so. bat fests. No, there's no way we should have saved that for a story. <laughs> Saunders, are your podcasts the best? Well, obviously, if he's asking that, he knows. Yes, they are the best. We might not get the most views and listens or good positive feedback or anyone saying anything nice about it. But at the end of the day, we know that they're the best. You, the person who asks that, probably know that it's the best. We are the best. So it's just natural. Like whatever we do, it really is the best. So of course the podcast is going to be the best. The the fame will come later, maybe. And if, even if it doesn't, we're, we're doing this for the love of it. We're not. It sucks that we're not getting any money. Next question. All right, next one is from orbs underscore priv dot two. Do your neighbors get concerned for your well-being when they hear the sounds that you make or <laughs> are doing in a challenge or prank or podcast? We have had some... F- Fuck off fights with neighbours. Oh, yeah. My God. And fair enough. The things they would hear. There's been times when Jackson and Michael have been playing fucking Xbox in here. And the doors are all open. The neighbours are like three metres away. And the profanity. Oh, so so just, much hatred. Just threatening each other's lives. And, mm. and, and just hardcore hatred. Really, really ins- like yeah, insulting words. We have had, yeah, like, and because we're renting, we've, like the landlords see the videos and it's just fucked. Yeah, the neighbors yeah. hate us. Everyone just, everyone who lives in like a, a half a kilometer <laughs> radius just fucking hates yeah, us. Yeah, like we take the dog out, like for walking, and like we don't use a leash for Bosley because he's a human being pretty much. Mm, he walks on his two hind legs. And like people get so mad at us because <clears> we never have him on a fucking leash. Fuck off. We'll do what we want with him. <coughs> Next one's from Sizzled underscore underscore. Who is YouTuber they want to collab with? I don't mind. I'm fucking a massive fan of Willem Powerfield. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Look him up on Instagram. Yeah, he that's, is probably the funniest dude in Australia. There's there are there are very funny people that we would like to collab with, but there's no one that really sticks out. Brandon dot Willems. What? are the thoughts of your parents where you are our parents i guess have come around more than they used to they didn't understand they don't understand well i think they've just given up yeah. really like yeah but mum is still very resistant still wants me to go, go to, to university. university that's sick that's sick man yeah tell me about it yeah she would prefer that i went to university and finished my primary school teaching degree jesus but yeah it's it's uh, i guess it is hard for her to explain <coughs> to her other old older friends and yeah mum's embarrassed of me she doesn't tell anyone what i do sometimes mum just pretends that she only has one son my older brother yeah or she says oh no i only have one son all right the uh next segment has been uh renames oh man my right eardrum hurts and basically in this segment we just tell an old story so this one since niger's on the show we'll tell the story of the first time we met Nigel fucking Munn. All right, so um, Nigel used to work for uh, Logan Law and he was doing, uh, you know, some social media work for them and, and working with some other influencers and filming like some, just some social media videos. And basically they were trying to find like, lo- it was like Logan's Got Talent or something. What was uh, the, the premise of it? It was so, like, yeah, who? Well, well Jacob, Jacob uh, an, an old friend of ours, uh, teed this up. And I remember him calling me and saying, hey, do you guys want to be involved in this? You can literally say and do whatever you want. And then I said to him, what do you mean, whatever we want? Like, like surely there's got to be some sort of comedic boundary. And he said, no, dude. And of course, our eyes lit up. I'm like, holy shit, we can say and do whatever the fuck we want. That was like heaven. Yeah, and he was just like so enthusiastic and was just so persistent in saying, we can do whatever the fuck we want. So you go up and you perform for a couple of minutes as a panel of judges, one of which was Nigel, and then you like, and then, you know, they judge you or whatever. Um, so we had in our minds that we were going to do a, a, a rap. So it was like a weird song dance thing about selling 
pingers, which is ecstasy pills. I, I, I was just fucking clicking spoons with our pants, like up to our tits. But we had some surprise props mm. as well. I had a, um, was it you had the knife? You had the knife. I had a knife, and Michael had um, previously, before we went on stage, put a condom on his dick. But yeah, and I put pumped soap into it to look like I'd blown in it. <laughs> so, like, halfway through the song, I, I don't show my dick, but I rip the condom off and, like, just fling it on the ground. Anyway, we started performing. Michael's slapping his spoons. I'm singing about pingers, and then Michael rips his um, used condom off and slaps it onto the ground. I pull a knife out. And you got? Did you get aggressive on me? Yeah, I push you. Yeah, I yeah, push you pushed you me stage. onto the ground. I don't know. You were on me, like threatening. We could see that the that the judges were like, "What the fuck is this?" But I thought it was all part of the show, so we remained in character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I just remember I had a tallie. I spilled beer everywhere, all over the fucking carpet, and I felt terrible about that after. But, and the, but this is all because, uh, like, I was just, I just because Jacob had said. Do whatever you want. And and it was so convincing by saying, yeah, do whatever you want, that I thought that everyone knew that we were going to be super, super offensive. Yeah, we were, we were very disgusting. Remember there were after- kids in there, I'm pretty sure, and I'm pulling out condoms off my dick. You know you've done an offensive thing when Justin Ryan comes up to you after and um, and praises you, and was he was really impressed. So that's, that's the first time we met Justin Ryan, I think. First time we met... Well, I, I met Nigel first time we met Justin Ryan first time we met Trey Anderson and first Jamie time Zoo. we met Jamie Zoo yeah and then we put on that show in front of all of those people <laughs> the women judges I remember were they oh, your friends they then, fucking hated and then us it was yeah it was like the, we and then when we <laughs> when we realised that we all we done was just offend a whole <laughs> room of people we were it's pretty embarrassing but ah oh, you live you learn and then you, you live, live and you learn and you rap and you do bloody drugs and ping mm, and here we are rip fucking condom <laughs> off and that's that. Um, that's story time. For our next segment, it has uh, not been renamed. Segment for Nigel Munt Cunt in brackets, which of course is the guest Nigel Munt on our show. Quick introduction. Um, Nigel Munt, a lot of you probably know him. He's been in our videos. Very uh, smart, clever man who was wrongly imprisoned for sexually assaulting a bus driver in Brisbane. And he's come out and he's made uh, the Broncos team. He's fulfilled his lifelong ambition. He's, he was in prison for eight years. He came out, kept training, proved his innocence while he was in jail, got out, actually made the Broncos, played professional football for another four years. And now he's homeless. Welcome, Nigel Munt. Hello, mate. How you going, mate? I'm so good. What have you been doing? Uh, just keeping keeping things moving along, living the dream. We we see you filming some cheeky new little videos now. Mucking around a bit more again. Yeah, I had a, about a year off. Yeah, we I missed you. Sort of everyone. Well, why, why, just, how come you had a year off? Just had a few other things going on and I just sort of thought it was uh, better to uh, be under the radar for a while. So I just stopped doing videos and just sort of went off social media for the last year. But... Happy to be back mucking around again. But now, fun. yeah, now you're out from underneath the radar. Yeah. And you're on it. Yeah, on the, I'm in the radar. You're, yeah. I'm on the blip. You, you are, are the radar. I am the blip. The radar. You are a radar. Are, are yeah, a radar. Exactly, exactly. Nigel Munt, the radar. The radar. <laughs> <laughs> we like to, um, you know, do the, um, swipe uh, the swipe ups and yeah. shit like that. And a lot of people are like, oh, you fuck, this fucking. Because a lot, you've, you fucking, Nigel knows like every single influencer in Australia and they all do it. And um, a lot of people <laughs> message like, is this a fucking scam? What is this shit? But really, it's not a scam. It's nah. the smartest fucking... Everyone... Oh, my God. Remember all the shit you got when mm. you started doing this? Mm. Like, what I like about the way we do what we do now is you get to talk to people who wouldn't engage with a lawyer. So they don't... You know, they're yeah, people that wouldn't true. do it. So, I mean, what I like more than anything is finding somebody who's got a claim... Uh, I'll be meaning to do something about it and they don't actually ever get around to doing it so they see this and they can find out what it's about and um, yeah that's that's what's good we babysit your kids yeah yeah that was good yeah do they still like did they talk about that yeah 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 they, they had a yeah. great night they're fun as they? <laughs> they're doing really well we did have fun yeah, yeah they're gonna good. yeah they could be social media people if they wanted to yeah well Macaulay's a uh, a real character the little girl she's very funny yeah what do they think of the social media yeah they like it I think do they, get, not, they don't get too carried away with it you know like Jackson came to Liam's footy game on Saturday and you know it's sort of no, like a few of the other kids are like staring like they'd seen a ghost but like yeah. you know those kids don't get too excited about it they kind of find it funny yeah 
Do they get like? Do they get? Are they like more popular in school? No, I don't think so. Not so. Oh, I don't know. I, I, some of the kids, you know, know know about the connection, but I don't think not so much. You know. Yeah. Fuck. That's hot. Yeah, which is a shame. Yeah. Right? Well, that's why you do it. <laughs> oh. For fame and fortune. <laughs> so fuck, marry, kill. Um, me, Michael Jackson. Who would you fuck? Who would you marry? Who would you kill? Jackson, I would kill. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely fucked Michael. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I, Everyone says that. I mean, you know. I got long hair again. He's so he's so he's so I definitely petite. fuck Michael again. He's so petite and elegant. So I can cute, picture though. that. Yeah. And what about the hair? Yeah, I know. It's something it's like to grab a hold Michael of. Bolton. Yeah, it's something to bloody grab a hold Ruff, of. Just thrust Ruff. your hips forwards and kill. I oh, know I'm killing Jackson. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Dude, so was that like, uh, marry Michael? <laughs> marry Marty. Marty. Sorry, oh, Marty. We should do a video. Let's do that. Would you get Would you get married to Marty for a vid, like legally? Yeah, I think that'd be a great idea. <laughs> yes, that we'll could sign, be a good one. We'll because now you got like the whole gay wedding stuff. Why not? Yeah. Does it affect you legally? If you If we got married, would there be any repercussions? If we got married <laughs> one week and then the next week we got divorced. I don't think so. Just stay married. But like, what's... You're not yeah, really married. You? But don't you have to be like separated for a year or some shit and then... Oh, to get divorced? Yeah. Yeah, I think you have to be separated for a year. So yeah, because we, if we wanted to marry someone else, we would we would have to be separated yeah, have for to, a year. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise you'd... Commit. But other than that, there's no legal problems. No. Nah. Wow. What are you, you going Like, that's a you fucking video You guys could get idea. married. Well, you yeah. guys should get married. <laughs> Marty and Michael get married. Get we'll live stream the wedding. <laughs> or even just change our names as well. There's definitely some legal repercussions there, though. What do you mean? If you cha- if I change my name to the best, <laughs> there, like, if I wanted to travel overseas or, you know, renew my license and shit like that, that fucks you up. <laughs> well, no, no, I reckon it, you, no, because you, you have to you have to prove like your you old name. You'd have to get a new passport. Name. You'd have to get a new fucking license. You'd have to get all the yeah. new shit. It just cost a bit. But yeah, that's a great idea. We're doing that. Formerly too. known as Hey, I'm the best. And you're filling in <laughs> yeah, insurance maybe. forms. What's your yeah. name? Other other names, <laughs> the best. <laughs> <laughs> that you don't. Be so yeah, good. you cut your last name out. You've just got one name, and it's yeah. <laughs> All right, so some questions for Nigel. This one's from Willem Powerfish. He's asked, I want to know how many men Nigel has endured in his lifetime. Thank you. I want to know that too. Can I just answer by saying not enough? <laughs> Although I had a wonderful time with Willem down by the mangroves <laughs> after fishing. I can see you guys fucking. Oh, imagine you guys He took me from, oh, <laughs> from angler to fishing. Are you going to be like really powerful bloke fucking bloke. sex? Yeah, like be bloke really bloke. Bloke. Be really like really short, powerful bursts of fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Angry rooting. And like and twi- twisting sex. each other's heads around and <laughs> tongue in each other's faces. <laughs> <laughs> really oh. really passionate short bursts of fuck. <laughs> I would I would pay to see that. So what you know when your grandma whose grandmother was it that you were at the house wanking? My grandmother. What did she think? Well she didn't know. Well, I hope she didn't know. We were in the attic. Is she a fan? Does she watch the podcast? No, no. Thank God. If she, if she, well, it, thank I think God would... she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. But oh, she's okay. she's hanging in there. But I would never tell her what so we're doing. That. No one tell anyone in... about Batfest. If you're listening to this, don't Bat tell Fest. anyone. Batfest <laughs> Germany didn't happen. <laughs> God, and it's just a group of group of close mates sitting in a room with their blankets over them. The, there's the lights are off. How old were you? Twenty uh, one. Yeah. Normal. It's good age. <laughs> It's good solid age, <laughs> and, we, and then oh. just porn. We just put porn on because we thought it was funny. And what then, else? We there watch? was nothing to do in that well, stupid in, town. Yeah, but they think about it. All the cartoons would have been in German. Yeah, exactly. They, they couldn't. They couldn't fucking um, understand a word. Exactly. I was the only one ah, who could. On the train. <laughs> <laughs> you on the train. <laughs> and so we'd just be watching porn. <laughs> Get on the train. Because <laughs> you don't need to speak German to understand what is happening when a man is plowing a woman. And so we'd just be all sitting on our separate beds. It was, it was a big attic, and yeah, we all had different beds. We turned the lights off so we couldn't see. Well, I watched a few of you come because I just wanted to creep this out. <laughs> but we couldn't see each other fucking coming. And then, like, yeah, you just once you'd finish, you go to the bathroom, clean yourself back up, and then come and do it again. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> this will hurt our brand. <laughs> Our image I'm will be that tarnished. This may not get monetized. <laughs> Have you None had of our one, podcasts, you haven't had one not podcast. Not one podcast is monetized on YouTube. Not one. So what, every single one is struck. 
Within Every single one is demonetized. Uh, instantly, as soon as as soon as I upload, before it's even live, so they it's can't even possibly have watched it. I, I think it's because our, all of our previous videos are demonetized. So, oh, so the default setting is demonetized now. Hey, do you know when I became a kind of power lifter, yeah. and I started posting me doing power lifting videos? Fuck, it was bad for my mental state. You know, I had like. 28,000 followers on Instagram and every time I would post a video of me powerlifting my, I'd go for like 28 to 26 and a half. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you'd lose that many oh, they were, yeah, it was like I remember that block. I must. I meant to unfollow that fuck <laughs> <laughs> no that's because they, they're expecting fucking you to Silly bloody shit. shave your eyebrows oh. or to tattoo I'd Jackson's dress and walk down the fucking street or to tattoo Jackson's face on your shoulder that's what they're expecting right. you got the reputation of just I still I even remember Jackson like just raving and being like there's nothing that you won't do and it's so impressive because now I don't know now we got a bit to lose I'm so, I sort of hold back a bit I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to fucking go blind you know no now. don't do that yeah because yeah. now there's just we have so much money yeah, I mean, and cash and fame and fortune cutting for followers and that yeah, yeah. yeah. Marty was going to cut his pinky off for 50 no, 10 grand no it was 50 there was, yeah. a, there was a time I, I started a GoFundMe I was going to cut my pinky off live for fifty thousand dollars, <laughs> but as soon as I posted the idea on our Facebook, on our old Facebook page, it got so much hate, and, and everyone was like, "This is too far, man. This is disgusting." Nothing's so too far. Quickly deleted it. When's Thanks. your birthday? Sixth of May. I'm the seventh of May. Yeah, I'm the nineteenth of May. Oh my fucking god! We should totally have a joint birthday what party do we do next a party? year. <laughs> Let's have a it's Nigel's fiftieth next year, so yeah, we'll definitely be there. Year. Can you believe it? That's fucked. Did Nigel's he? 50 years old. Wow. 20 years ago, no one would have expected you to make it to 50. Nah. Hopefully, 20 hopefully years makes ago, it. I was not a hope. Yeah. Big drinker, big bad eater, fucking all sorts of stuff. When did you stop drinking? I uh, haven't drunk, haven't had a single mouthful for, I don't know, two years now. Oh, so I still got ages of oh, drinking. You got ages guy. I, I quit drinking the first time ever when I was uh, about um, 45, 46. And then I went a year without drinking, and then I started to reminisce on my drinking days mm. more fondly than perhaps was accurate. And I was thinking, you know, I wasn't that bad. Maybe you should, you know, <laughs> what are you doing? Get back into it, son. <laughs> and then but I alcohol started, was never your, your no, main... Was, yeah, but it was not good. Terrible. Mind that you, I have you. shocking addiction. I have massive addiction yeah, problems. Yeah, so, 100%. Like, I, I sort of quit coffee there a few weeks ago. And I thought, well, I won't drink coffee. I'll stop that altogether. Mm. And I'll start drinking green tea. I remember you said that. And I was drinking fucking green tea. Like, <laughs> I was drinking by the litre, by the litre. <laughs> and I was getting... And in the end, I was walking around with a box of Gaviscon, and I was just gobbing them and drinking green tea. And what's like, Gaviscon? For the heartburn. That, that, that heartburn. fucking green tea. So much green tea. Gave so me such bad. Yeah. I was going to a coffee shop, you know, near our old gym, and I'd say, I want to buy an hour's worth of green tea because I didn't want to fucking pay by the cup so just keep <laughs> keep, keep, keep <laughs> fucking an coming and I'll worth. be here for an hour yeah. tell you what else I noticed about Michael videos. today he's a very um, he's a solid eater isn't he <laughs> <laughs> tell him about nibble. Michael's eating That's <clears throat> worth Michael's going through a stage where no, no, no food will satisfy him He'll order yeah, the, you've he'll, always been like this, haven't you? No, yeah, but now, like, I, I now that you're rich, no, no, yeah, well, now that he's rich, <laughs> now eh? that he has no, a disposable like, oh. amount of money, it, things have changed. He'll order some food if he doesn't like the first few bites, he'll discard it and order something else. He only, only that, orders a handful money, of it? meals. It's not the money. It's just like, okay, I've abused food so bad because I like only eat like ten meals in life. You know, pizza, fucking chicken schnitzels. And now, when I have Name like... Name the other seven. Fucking pizza. Did I say pizza? <laughs> <laughs> so there's really probably only four in Well, truth, I had bruschetta eh? today. Okay, and it's what, five. And I, can, I also enjoy pasta. I love pasta. Six. Garlic bread. Six and a half. I wouldn't even call that a food. Um, it's fucking more or less bruschetta without the fucking tomato. That's all. And nice. yeah, but now, since I've had every meal so many times, the ones that I can eat, I've abused them so much that I can't enjoy them. But so if it's not like a 10 out of 10 <laughs> version of that meal, then I am over it. No, you're not going to come any shit. But, but it's also the main Aspley thing. Aspley Tavern, fucking it's, bruschetta. It's 100% also, because we used to be super poor and you used to starve yourself for two days and then you get a pizza and it didn't matter if it tasted slightly off, you'd fucking eat it because you only had $5 in your wallet. Now, you know, if you don't like something 100%, 
you have the option to discard well, yeah, it. It's nice to know that I can like buy another meal. Like you saw today, I had a few bites and it was shit. So then I bought another one, I had a few bites, it was shit. Then we <laughs> the went. Tomato we to to... wasn't cut thin enough. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, God, no. did you give your fucking like, teeth? It's like, <laughs> like you know, people have their fucking OCD things, and that's my thing is I fucking food. If it doesn't look good or the way I want it to look, I don't want to fucking eat it. Yeah, yeah, I'll eat dog shit like dog that. Shit. Yeah, human no shit. problem at all. Human piss. Yeah, I've actually, I've eaten my own shit. We did. We said that in a story. <laughs> he has eaten his own shit, eaten dog shit, eaten drank. Uh, but give him a bruschetta I'm with drinking. thickly cut tomato, <laughs> and you got yourself a problem, fella. <laughs> yeah, well, cut like don't just cut a baby cherry, a baby cherry tomato yeah, cherry in half. That's pretty fucking a baby slack, cherry. Eh? All right, oh. I'm gonna fuck off now. I'm gonna go and get on the train. Oh, yeah, all right. All Catching right, the train home. <clears throat> No, you're not. Are you really? Oh, yeah, why not? You know, I imagine if you go on Joe Rogan, you probably get a fucking limo. Home. Oh, we, but I'm not expecting a lot here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just be fucking lucky to get home. I'm hoping we can, not to get stabbed. I thought stabbed you were sleeping with me. I'm just no. hoping not to get stabbed. No, we can we can 100 percent order an Uber for you. We're going to order an Uber for you. Oh, you are we're not. So... Connor, cut this part out. We're not. <laughs> yeah, catch a fucking train. Oh, Over and out. I love you. <laughs> All right, that's that. Nigel Munt. Nigel, Nigel, Nigel. Next segment, and it has not been renamed. It is just prank call. And for this week's prank call, I will be disagreeing with the Domino's worker. Whatever they say, I'll be, I'll be just flat out saying, no, that's not right. And we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, it's, it's good. It's a good idea. It's, 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 a gr- it's a great idea. Siri, call fucking, you know, good idea. It's a Domino's great idea. Zilmia. Um, hey, can I just um, or, uh, place a pickup uh, order, please? Yep, what pieces are you after? Um, <clears throat> there's, there's this value range pieces you guys have, aren't there? Is there, is there a pizza called the, um, the beef and onion or something? H- how much is that pizza again? Um, 5.45. Oh, uh, no, that's not, that's not correct. I'm just after that beef and onion pizza, but that's not the, the, the price you said. That's not correct. What's the price? Uh, the price what's is $5. Oh, it, the it, only um, are yeah, no, it, uh, it, it didn't, uh, it didn't change. It's still, it's still five dollars. Do you have a code for that? No, 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 I don't have a code, but I just, I just know that it hasn't, it hasn't changed yet. I I, it, the, the price um, hasn't it, changed. It changed a long time ago. Yeah, no, it, it, it hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't changed. Is there like a um a, some sort of special you guys have like with the sides? Can I get a um like a a, dr- um, a drink and a and and a side? Uh, we have like a two sides for seven ninety five. Two sides for seven ninety five. No, that's that's uh that's not correct. Um, why is that? Oh, that's just not the um that that's not the price. What would the price be? Um, I think it was about five dollars or something. Didn't you know that that wasn't the um correct price? It hasn't been that for for ages, so that's not right. Um, so, sorry, what was your name? Um, Kyla. No, that's not. That's not your name, Ky- Kyla. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Come on. That's that's not your name. Can I can I speak no, to someone else? If, if you're gonna if you're gonna play games, Kyla is not Kyla is not your name. If you wanna play games, can you put someone else on, please? All right then. Up to you. Sorry for a sec. Thank you. Hey mate, um, I'm just um after the uh, value pizza, the um the beef and onion, and I'm also after the um the drink and the uh the garlic bread, the um the sides deal that you have. So with the with the sides and the beef and onion pizza, that should be seventeen forty five. Uh no, that's 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 not correct. How is how is not correct? The 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 um the price and just just the words that you use then is not correct. So do you have any other box? No, no, I don't have any vouchers, but I just know that um, what you're saying is, isn't right. That's what the system is giving me. If you don't believe that, you can just come down to the store and check it, and then you order. Um, the, um, the system is wrong. It's not, it's not right. And, um, if okay, it, I think if the system is wrong, you can order from somewhere else. Um, ex- Thanks for calling us. Thank ex- ex- excuse me. Ex- ex- excuse me. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh, that got me hard, dude. Oh, that got that me good. hard. Well done. I'm glad that they hung in there for a while because usually they fucking hang up. We've pranked that girl before. Kyla? Yeah, Kyla. We've pranked Kyla many times. 
I've heard her. I'd say two or three other times she's answered, and we've she's had to deal with that shit. Ooh. All right, guys, that's <clears> the end of episode twenty-four. Make sure you tell your fucking friends about this shit. Otherwise, get fucked, you fucking dogs. Don't ever fucking watch this shit without fucking liking and commenting and fucking sharing it. You fucking dog fuckwits. Don't fucking come around our joint and fucking talking shit like you fucking own the joint. I fucking live here. I fucking own it, cunt. Don't fucking come round here and dog off my mum, you nutbag bitch. Fuck it up, cunt. We're the best. best. We're the 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 best.